Fatu Janta is HIV positive. She was one of the first HIV patients to be treated by former Gambian president, Yaya Jame. This is Janta with Jame, as she entered the clinic back in 2007. There is no cure for HIV and AIDS, and yet the former president of Gambia said he could heal infected patients. Very bad. Jame has a high school degree in biology. It was a disaster. Some died during the treatment, some died after this age. He gave Fatu Janta herbal potions he mixed himself with milk or boiled water. It was bitter. The treatment lasted nine months. Believe me, I automatically come weak because I was not used to herbal medicine. And uh, during that time, you cannot just leave because if you leave, it's another problem for you. Jame was accompanied by military men who made sure the patients took their medicine. Eventually, he discharged her, saying she was cured. In fact, Jata was close to dying. Medical doctors gave her antiretroviral drugs to fight the illness. How big it is. Take a deep breath. Yaya Jame and Health Minister Tamzir Mbao experimented on hundreds of HIV-positive men, women and children. In 2007, the former Gambian president showed Al Jazeera how he cured them. That man has since died. Most patients treated by Yaya Jame are now dead, buried in cemeteries like this one. Only 2% of the population is HIV positive, but doctors believe the rate of infection is much higher. People were scared to talk about the illness, fearing that they would end up in one of Yaya Jame's clinics. Hands-on care is one of the few HIV and AIDS clinics in the country. Here, patients come for care and to get antiretroviral drugs. Some say Jami's claim he could cure HIV has been a major setback in the fight against the virus in Gambia. He was lying to the country. If you tell people that you can cure them, and along the line they die, to me, um, he was just fooling us. Fatu Jata still wonders why Jame was so fascinated with HIV and AIDS. Did he believe in his herbal treatments? Did he try his own medicines? Questions the ex-president in exile is unlikely to answer anytime soon. She's now using her experience to convince infected patients to follow medical treatment. She tells this man that there are no miracles, no cure, but there's a life with HIV, a life worth living. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Banjul.